and we can begin talking about dividing positive and negative fraction by understanding a key concept which is uh, known as the multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal of a number. Uh, so actually this is just simply uh, the numerator and the denominator trading places or flipping as you guys are accustomed to saying. Uh, example if we take one fourth and we want to find its multiplicative inverse we will uh, change uh, places with the four and one and it becomes four over one and any time we multiply multiplicative inverse we'll always get one but let's try and find a couple of uh, multiplicative inverses uh, example okay. if we have let's say a negative five and two thirds and we want to find the multiplicative inverse. Well, first uh, we want to write this as an improper fraction. So, the first thing we do is write as an improper fraction. Okay, so once we do that, how do we do that? Is we take three and multiply it which is the denominator multiplied by negative 5 and then we will add 2 now let's not get the rules of integers uh, misplaced here because actually the whole uh, whole number and the uh, numerator is negative that actual whole set is negative so we have a negative 15 and 2 will give us a negative 17 over 3 so that would be our multiplicative inverse okay uh, and we can no I'm sorry this will be our improper uh, fraction and to get the multiplicative inverse we'll trade 3 so we will trade 3 and negative 17 and we can just leave either one the way you want to leave it uh, I would just probably if you would just go along with just saying it. We will trade places like this, and if we cross divide one and one and negatives, that's one and that's one. And as we can see, one over one will give us one, which is one. So again, first write it as an improper fraction, and then change places. So the second step would be the change. Places. with numerator and denominator. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, let's try. 7. Okay, so we have 7, and realistically, 7 is equal to, to the equals here, 7 is equal to 7 over 1. Writing as a fraction is improper, so write as a fraction is 7 over 1. So what's the inverse for 7 over 1? And the inverse of reciprocal is 1 over 7 so 1 over 7 times 7 over 1 will give us 7 over 7 which is equal to 1 and anytime it equals 1 then evidently we must be right with the multiplicative numbers okay let's do one more let's take 5 over 8 and again the multiplicative inverse, if we're going to change places here, if we're going to change places, then we have 8 over 5. And if we go ahead and numerator times numerator, we'll have 40 over denominator times denominator 40 over 40, which indeed equals to 1. 
So pretty simple. Uh, if it's just a, a, a normal fraction, we just simply uh, change places. If it's improper, uh, we simply uh, write, if it's a mixed number actually, then we just simply write as an improper prior to changing places. Uh, let's do one more of these and then I'll let you guys go. Uh, we have a negative 2 and 1 third. So this is improper. First thing we're going to do is actually mix. We write as an improper fraction by multiplying three times a negative 2 plus 1. That's going to give us a negative 7 over 3. So now we're going to let the numerator and denominator uh, rotate and switch places. That's going to give us 3 over a negative 7. And here we will have a negative 21 over a negative 21, which 21 into 21 goes one time, negative into negative is a positive, so we're stuck with that. All right, that's uh, finding multiplicative inverse. And of course, why is that important? Because we're going to use it next to uh, divide by fractions.